as a patient, it's nice to think there that there is an institution there that's going to pick up the pieces if you need them. You hope you don't need them, but um, and it's going to be funded at source. Um, th that's that's lovely um, to know. It's it's reassuring to know that. Um, and as a doctor, um, the NHS, um, I suppose I see it as something that's changed a lot in the years. I've been in it since 1976, and I see it as something that is evolving. Of course, I'm, I'm not practising anymore, so in a sense, um, I, I, I'm not thinking about it anymore as a doctor, but um, I could see in my later years in the NHS that it had changed in the sense that um, it, it was being more regulated um, and there was a lot more accountability. Um, one of the very good things I thought that came in the NHS um, in the latter years was um, the introduction of MDTs where you know, th every patient was being discussed at a meeting with all the disciplines involved in their diagnosis and treatment. Um, so th there was much more sort of scope to standardise treatments and you couldn't have outliers I if there was, say, a surgeon who wasn't doing, um, say, in my particular field, if, say, someone wasn't taking out the lymph nodes um, when everybody else was or was taking them out inappropriately, that would become obvious. It is a British institution, but actually um, it's staffed. The staffing now is very international, so in many ways it's got an international feel to it. Although it is one of the, it is one of the institutions that um, the country is very proud of, but um, from the point of view of actually running it, it's very international. Uh, to the to the point that actually a lot of the even X-ray reporting or imaging reporting is um, if you have a scan in Newcastle, it might be reported in Berlin. A lot of the work is outsourced. Ultimately, you're going to have to say, um, will there have to be some form of means testing, or will taxes have to rise, or? I mean, you can have you can put that in different packages, like people being insured. Um, it, it could be configured in all sorts of ways, but clearly, um, a, a more than nine percent of the GDP would be required uh, to keep it, to, to fund um, health seventy years time. So it's a very difficult. It's very difficult, but it is infinitely more sophisticated um, than it was in seventy years, and so infinitely more expensive. I, I'm very um, committed to uh, fundraising and helping out the NHS and in 2006, I think it was, um, I um, did a fundraiser and managed to buy an ultrasound machine. Do you, do you think that you like free healthcare or do you like the NHS? I suppose for, for me they're this, they are the same thing. Um, but um, I suppose they're not necessarily always going to be the same thing. And, you know, if um, there are other countries which run um, insurance schemes side by side with their health service.